Yo, it's Good Killer Squad. We are back on NBA 2K. So today we actually have a special video for you guys. So I know a lot of you guys might be grinding this out to do the daily objective. So we're going to be opening three different packs to see which pack is more worth it. We have obviously going to be opening the, the free packs. We're going to have the daily training packs. And actually, let me show you guys the training daily packs I have. I have 71 tickets. So I've been grinding this out almost daily for the past week. We're going to be opening probably two of the 24, uh, three of the eight, I guess, and then one of the free. And also, since you guys do know, I have coins right now. I paid a bit of money, a lot of money, to purchase one of the packs that you guys will see to see which one we can get. So we are going to check which one is more worth it for you guys. As you guys can see, um, it's just expensive. 3,200 coins will cost you about 40 bucks Canadian. So that's about... I don't know, 35 American, which we'll see if it's worth it or not, or whether it is better to grind out. So we're going to start off with the regular lowest one we can do, okay? So if we go to the store, we're going to open the free crate, which is the same thing as the open crate that you'll see afterwards. So we're going to open this free crate right here. We're going to get a bronze shoes, which I mean, it's, it's all good. It's, it's all good. Let's go open the daily objective. So we want to have about 48 left. Now we're going to open this one. We might take a quick screenshot. So if you guys have any, watch for the flash. Okay, I'm flashing the screen right now. I apologize, but it might actually get cut out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to open these a few times. We'll see which one will be more worth. Oh my God. We got a gold arm sleeve. That's actually pretty sick. Just to reiterate what comes in each. I don't know if I can open multiple of these. We're actually going to see if we can open. We can open multiple of these. So that's going to be really cool that you can open multiple of these. We did get a gold equipment. We got a bronze mouthpiece. That's going to be really cool. Let's go back to daily objective again. So if I open one more, I don't think I have enough. So we've opened three, technically speaking, of those. So we're going to spend the 48. So essentially, this gives you equipment, energy charger, or cards, any of them. So it can be bronze or silver. Now, this one will give you at least a silver or better quality guaranteed. But for the price of three of these, you basically saw I got two, two bronze and one gold equipment for this. Now, we're going to open this one. We'll see what we get from opening two of these. So basically from opening this one pack we got a ooh, we got silver brandon ingram which is a good card he has um 666 power which is suspect i totally agree with you guys a little suspect there but he's probably got some decent stats i'll check it out afterwards but you got a silver player but there is a chance you might get a gold player i forgot to take a screenshot so guys close your eyes i might just cut this part out bang we are gonna go open this second one to see which if we get a gold player that's gonna be gold equipment so for the price of how many that's six six of the regular packs we got two one gold one silver player in the other one we opened three packs we got one gold equipment as well as a two bronze equipment so i think it's better to do the smaller ones because you had a chance to get the gold players so that is going to be very suspect now finally what we're going to be doing is we're going to open this final final pack right here we have the star player you will be, this will cost you $40. $40 to give you three random cards, silver to emerald. So you might actually get a silver to emerald. That is going to be actually suspect because if we get three silver players, I'm going to be cheesed, but we are going to purchase it right now. If we get an emerald player, I will be legit lit, but we're going to take a quick screenshot. I apologize to people for thinking I took a screenshot, but let's go ahead and see what's in this pack. Art looks pretty solid. We're going to click them one at a time. Give me that eight. Oh, oh gold CJ McCollum. I will take the gold player. CJ McCollum. It is an update team. Give me an emerald. Oh, man. This is a silver. Please, not a silver at the middle. Give me. Oh, my God. We got the, we got the Morris brothers. We legit got the Morris brothers. So, you get for $40, we got a gold player, which is absolutely trash in my opinion forty dollars for a gold player is definitely not the way to go so this is not a biased review not because i'm an ea game changer it's like yeah hey, man it's because you you like nba live mobile too much you say this is trash i'm not saying the game is trash i like the gameplay it's really fun but the packs are overpriced like crazy imagine getting one gold player for 40 bucks. If you thought NBA Live Mobile was expensive, this is ridiculous. You get an elite. Emeralds are basically elites, right? In my opinion, that's what I think. But look at this. And there's, there's not really anything better than these packs. Like, you can go to star players, but that's gonna cost you 
$75 to get one guaranteed gold. You might not even get an emerald player. So at least I got a gold player, which which I mean is good because I needed a gold player. So we're gonna swap. We're gonna put CJ McCullum, which look at these stats. We can obviously upgrade him. Um, you can use bronze stuff to upgrade him. So we're definitely gonna try to upgrade a CJ McCullum. I am running Jason Tatum, he is a monster monster card like instead of using for example at Jason Tatum I could use Brandon Ingram which I said we'll look at his stats so his stats are actually really good he's got 45 speed a shot off dribble 46 basically his dunking I believe is like 45 he's got mid-range of 46 48 approximately three point what is this one post scoring which is actually really good his speed is quick 65 speed that is actually really good so he's actually got really good stats let's compare him real quick to um to, I wish there was a compare button. That'd be really good. But yeah, oh, but Jason Tatum. But Jason Tatum is maxed out. Brandon Ingram maxed out would probably be a lot better than this, this Jason Tatum. But Jason Tatum right now has got some solid stats. Let me just compare Marcus, Marquise, Mark, Marcus Morris. We gotta compare Marcus Morris real quick. So Marcus Morris is slightly worse than Brandon Ingram, if I'm correct. Like his three point is, yeah, oh wait, that's that's Jason Tatum. There's, I really wish there was a way to compare players. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, so he's slightly better. Yeah, so Brandon Ingram slightly better. So yeah, that's that's okay. We also let's let's I actually want to check. So Blake Griffin compared to uh, Markeith Morris. Markeith Morris has a solid eh, okay stats. I like my Blake Griffin. I'm a huge Blake Griffin fan. Blake Griffin's shooting is pretty good, but I think Markeith will have a higher three point in the end because he starts at 44.5. So I don't know. We're gonna play it out, but we got C.J. McCollum. Who's got some solid stats? Look at his 3.57, 3 point mid range is 56, 50, which I mean, it's not the best stats to be honest with you guys. But actually, I'm gonna train him up a little bit. We're gonna throw him all these players into him. We're gonna get him. Try to, yeah, I don't really need all these players. I'm gonna keep the. I have two. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. One second. Let's just. We're gonna put back. I like, yo, my Jason Tatum is stacked. Like, he is a great card, so I'm definitely not gonna upgrade, not gonna get rid of him. But we're gonna train, we're gonna throw in Bam, we're gonna throw in all these bronze players. Um, we're gonna throw in Tyson Chandler, because I already have one, so we're gonna throw in one of the Tyson Chandler, the J.R. Smith, the Marcus Morris, P.J. Tucker, as well as the other J.R. Smith. So he is actually, I feel like I have too much stuff on him now. So we're gonna take off some of the bronze players because I feel like, okay, yeah. So we need one more bronze. Let's train him up. We're gonna, oh, okay. We are gonna be, look at this. He's gonna boost. So basically as you level up, you boost a little bit of everything. So, ooh, 57.6. Now we can actually level him up. So we're gonna put these bronze stuff on him. This is a three point boost. We're gonna equip that. We're gonna equip the speed mid range shot as well. And uh, where's the dribble, off dribble? Uh, one of these is drip off off dribble shooting equip this as well and then we're gonna ready and upgrade him up so bang two star uh, let's see his three point is 80 yeah 59.1 we can actually probably do it a second time if we have enough silver equipment i i wonder if you can take off silver equipment from these people i think you can't i don't think you can unequip stuff unfortunately so we're gonna need to get more equips on him so we can actually get him to three stars so i'm actually super hyped about that but we're gonna put this on we're gonna plus two off dribble this is rebounding as well we need two more stats silver stats then we can upgrade him and then we try to get him to three star but look at his stats right there oh my god i'm also running jj berea just because he has some good three point i love shooting my threes i love it all right so let's do a quick gameplay we're gonna run it right now we're gonna use one of our staminas although i didn't really have much stamina uh before we're gonna do a quick gameplay try to get the use of cj mccullum hopefully we'll score some buckets with him um i haven't used him yet and i'm also not really good at gameplay but we'll try our best we'll see what we can do um i do want to try him out just to show you guys but uh we'll see what happens uh we'll see we'll see we'll see it's gonna load a little bit i do like the gameplay um the graphics look really good except for when it does like those cinematic parts like this gameplay looks really fun so tips if you want to like if you're not the best at controlling your player you can go auto mode you can also still switch on the player we'll just pass it there give a little oh baby look at that pass look at that pass hit the auto mode players will move on himself and you can still control the player you want to use and try to get a steal so here for example here we're gonna hit that steal button okay come back come back get a steal right there nice steal bang pass it back is that cj that's tatum 
That's that's Morris. Pass it back. Pass it back. Give it to CJ. Let's do a little pump fake. No, nope, we're not gonna hit get him with the pump fake. We're gonna come down like this. Little oh man. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I missed the pump fake. That is a rip. Um, yeah, I don't know what just popped up. We're hit the auto mode again. I should have taken off notifications. Let's try to get a steal here. Come on, switch back. I wish, again, I wish there was oh, a reach and foul. I wish there was a switch button, although the defending button does kind of switch it, but you can't really hit the defend button and tap it again. So that's kind of cheese, but we'll see. Let's try to get the defense there going. Come on, dribble, dribble. Oh, good steal. Let's go. Give it to Tatum. Give it to Tatum. Give that jam, baby. Give that jam, baby. I take it. We got to try to actually get some of the passes off to CJ McCollum. Try to hit a nice three. We're going to see if we can do an off dribble three. He's got some pretty off the, good off the dribble. Oh, that should have been a reach. Uh. Switch, switch. Oh, he got me with that fake. He got me with that fake. No way that goes in. No way that goes in. Good rebound. Uh, where's CJ McCollum? That's Tatum. That's not C... Oh, that's CJ... No, give it to the corner. Can we hit that three? That's not a good release. Ah, oh, dang it. Trying to get a good release there, unfortunately. But um, we didn't... We're not up, but I think we won the quarter. They basically scored nothing. Oh, dang. Yo, play some defense. Oh, my God. Uh, can we just pass it there? Can we hit that though? Oh my God, I can't hit a single shot today. But still, we can see, I didn't really get to use him as much, but still with the gameplay looking a little smoother now. Let's try to get some of these. I don't have any ads I can watch right now, but we got some bronze equipment. So again, um, in my opinion, um, if the best way you guys want, I think is the best is to just do this. Like save up all, do the small loot crate, because the big loot crate is good, but you can actually get gold from this as well. So I'd rather get that. I don't think it's worth your money to pay to try to get some of these better players because $40 to give you a gold player is absolutely insane in my opinion. But yeah, still, but guys, let me know in the comments down what you guys think. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. If you guys agree with me, if the smaller packs are more valuable, the large one, the middle one, or you guys rather pay to get the gold player. I, I mean, gold players are fun, but I don't think, I think personally the smaller ones are the worth it. That's what I think. If you want to see my latest videos, give me on the right side of the screen. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I make videos on it daily. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it. Wow.